We're coming on air to join you with breaking news. We're going to give you a live look now at Centennial Olympic Park via our Earth Cam. Here you go. Within the last hour, officials actually called for a temporary evacuation here at the park because of severe weather rolling through downtown Atlanta. Now, this was all ahead of tonight's Look Up Atlanta 4th of July celebration. We've since learned the park reopened. That was about 15 minutes ago. Want to bring in meteorologist Nicole Hartford to talk about what we can expect as the night rolls on. I know you've been tracking several severe storm warnings today. Yes, there's quite a lot of activity on the radar. A lot of these are severe worn storms. You can see a number of those, most of them outside of the perimeter. So around downtown Atlanta, we've started to clear out. The strongest storm right now is into portions of Pike, Merriweather, as well as Upson counties just south of Concord. This is producing some gusty winds up to about 60 miles per hour, as well as heavy rainfall and frequent lightning. This storm is also producing some hail up to about grape to even walnut size. That storm is really our only hail producer. We also have an isolated severe thunderstorm warning down into portions of Butts, Henry and Spalding County. That storm is weakening. That severe thunderstorm warning goes until 615. Another off into Clark, Morgan, as well as Oconee County near the Athens area that goes until 630. Now, these showers and storms will begin to wind down. On our radar, you can see not as much activity up towards the north. So once these move down towards the southeast, our rainfall will start to wind down. We'll dry out into the overnight hours. We'll wake up in the low 70s. So for those of you running the AJC Peachtree Road Race, it does look dry, but hot and humid. That doesn't mean we'll stay dry all day, though.